Marco Polo was born in 1254 in the Italian city of Venice. Marco's father Niccolo was a jewel merchant and left the family when Marco was 6 years old to go trade near the Black Sea. He and his brother Maffio ended up all the way in the Mongolian Empire and had audiences with the most powerful ruler of that era, Kublai Khan, the grandson of Genghis Khan. Niccolo returned home when Marco was 15 years old. Two years later Niccolo and Maffio went on another journey and Niccolo took his 17 year old son Marco with him. This time the goal of the journey was to go straight to the court of Kublai Khan. The Khan was very interested in European culture as well as Christianity and asked the brothers for several items. After a three and a half year journey, Marco, Niccolo and Maffio arrived at the court of Kublai Khan in 1275. Niccolo presented his son to the Khan and offered him in service of the Emperor. Marco served Kublai Khan for over 16 years where he took on various sorts of diplomatic and administrative roles for the Emperor, but also entertained the Khan with interesting stories about the lands he had traveled. At the end of their stay, the Polos asked permission from Kublai Khan to return home to Venice. Although he preferred them not to, he gave them a final mission to escort Kökochin, a Mongolian princess, to Persia, where she would become the bride of the Persian Khan Argun. The Polos left the service of the Khan in 1291. After a perilous journey, they arrived in Persia around 1293. During their journey, however, Argun had died and a new suitor for Kokochin had to be found before the Polos could continue their journey home. She instead married Argun's son, Ghazan. Kublai Khan died on February 18, 1294, while the Polos were still on their way home. This allowed local rulers to reassert themselves and demand payments from traders. The Polos had to give up quite a significant portion of their acquired fortune in order to come back home. After a 24 year long period, the Polos returned to Venice in 1295, barely speaking their native tongue and their family thinking they were long dead. At that time, Venice was at war with Genoa and in 1298 Marco financed his own war galley to participate in this war. He was captured during a naval battle at the Battle of Corzola and ended up in a Genoan prison. During his stay in prison, Marco, a skilled storyteller, entertained his fellow prisoners with tales of his travels to the Mongolian Empire. One of his cellmates, Rusticello da Pisa, wrote down these stories and the result of these tales became known as the Travels of Marco Polo and became Europe's primary source of information about China until the 19th century. In 1299, Genoa and Venice declared peace and Marco was released from prison and returned to Venice. He married Donata Badur the following year and had three daughters with her, Fantina, Bellella and Moretta. Marco spent his remaining days as a businessman, dying on January 8th 1324. On his deathbed many people asked Marco if all the tales from his book were indeed reality, to which he famously replied, I did not write half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about Marco Polo and his travels, check the sources in the description. Also leave a comment to suggest the next explorer you'd like to see in the next video.